Hey, <laughs> so I'm going to be uh, making a little video on um, some exercises for strengthening the hips, knees, and ankles, which is really important for Muay Thai. Um, this is not meant to treat or diagnose anything. The reason I'm making this video is that I very recently, I don't even know what I did, but um, I messed up my knee and it was giving me some sharp pain right on the outside. And when I went to see a physio about it, it was very clearly my IT band. Um, so I'm just gonna show the things that I've been taught in the process of rehabbing my knee. Um, again, I'm not a doctor <laughs> and you're probably not a doctor. I'm just showing the things that my physio has shown me in case they might help someone else. This is not even necessarily if you have the same exact pain situation that I have. Um, I just noticed in these exercises where they hurt or, or like where I'm feeling the burn or whatever. And uh, in feeling where that's targeting, I was like, this is so important for Muay Thai because I definitely, hands up, am one of these people who's like, doing the movements that you're going to be doing is strengthening the areas of your body that uh, you need it for. So I'm not super big into like, I do do weightlifting, but I don't do targeted weightlifting. I don't have like a very complicated uh, weight program, uh, mainly because I think of things as like your leg is going to be strong for kicking by kicking kind of thing. But when I went through these exercises with my physio, I was um, one, ashamed and two, very shocked at how hard they were, which goes to show that those muscles in me were underdeveloped. Um, and that's probably part of what caused my injury. So again, I am not treating or diagnosing. I'm just showing what my physio has shown me and I thought that it would be helpful for other people. So if you uh, live somewhere where you can't afford or cannot access a physio, these are some things that you can do maybe preventively um, rather than trying to diagnose and treat something because we're online, we can't really do that. Um, so the number one thing uh, that happened at my physio appointment was um, just kind of leg raises kind of thing. So I'm gonna show you what that looked like. I'm gonna get a mat <laughs> and drop my microphone. All right, so this is gonna be totally like 80s, 90s jazzercise type situation. So the first part is actually just laying, laying like this and you just do like a leg raise like this 10 times. The first set's not very hard for me, but I can start to feel it right here in the hip, which is very important for lots of things that we do in Muay Thai. You do three sets of 10, according to my physio, and then you switch and you do the other side. So you just wanna be symmetrical in everything that you're doing, right? Keep your legs straight. I feel it right here, which is somewhere that gets very tense and tight on me. All right, so you would do three sets of that. I'm not gonna do that because I'm not doing the full thing for this, for this video. The next one, you just kind of um, pretty much are in a similar position, but you're gonna go from long to bent knee and you're just gonna be doing Basically, like if you remember the um, thigh master or whatever, it's basically kind of like that. I'll do 10 of each for each of these just for demo purposes. And again, this one feels pretty much in the same spot as the other one, but it's a little bit lower for me. So another thing that the IT band actually goes really high. So my pain was down here, but this entire length of my leg is really painful. Pro tip, kick someone in their IT band. It fucking hurts. If you want to do leg kicks, that's where you target is the IT band. And uh, if you target on me because it's really tight, you don't even have to kick that hard. But it comes all the way up to your hip. So there's actually this socket like right on the back of your butt that for me gets really, really sore. And I can feel that when I'm doing these exercises. The next thing that my physio had me do was basically like a side plank. So you're in a side plank like this and you don't go too low. Like you don't go below this point, but you 
lift up like that. I couldn't do this. So she wanted me to do 10 of those and I couldn't do it because it was hurting my back. So instead, she had me just hold the plank for 15 seconds and then today she made me do it for 20. So basically you just hold the position. If it does not hurt your back, what she wanted me to do is this 10 times, but instead just hold for 15 if it hurts and then alternate sides. Try to make sure that you're not like bent low. You wanna to try to stay pretty neutral. So, like I was saying, how this runs all the way up into the hip, you're kind of like strengthening your lower back and your hips as well. So this one, again, I thought was really good for Muay Thai because this area gets really sore on me from like kneeing and kicking. So it seemed like a really good thing to develop. And I was, again, in, very embarrassed and ashamed at how difficult it was for me to do three sets of 10 on a lot of these things. This is the um, last one of the first set that she had me do. So basically you do 10. So this is one to go to each side, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm not gonna do the full 10 on that one. You would do three sets of 10 on that. And that was my first day. The second day that I went, she had me do very similar exercises, but she had me do a, a band so she just made it a little bit harder. So again, it's the same exercises that I was doing before, but now with a band like this, and I have to prop myself up when I use the band. So it was stretchier than this. This one's too tight. You would want like a pretty flexible band, but you're basically doing the leg raise thing like this, but with a resistance band. This is a bad example, because this is what I have at home, and this is not. You would want something like stretchier. Um, then there were a few things that you can do without having to get down on the ground, which I liked. So I'm gonna stand way back here so that you can see, but basically you, you stand in a neutral position and you're just gonna lift your hip 10 times like this. I'm gonna do five. And on the other side, Okay, and again, three sets of 10. This one I found shockingly difficult to do because I actually do the same exercise with weights and I struggled to do it, but it's basically a one-legged uh, squat. So you're just gonna go a little bit, like it's not super deep, but you wanna do 10 of these three sets each on each side. And again, I'm already beginning to wobble a little bit. My knees are cracking. So three sets of 10 each side on that. And then the weights she had me use were actually much smaller than this, but it's basically just a side bend and you do 10 like that, three sets and then 10 Like that, three sets. She had me balance with a ball against the wall, which I don't have. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it without the ball, but you wanna keep your leg pretty straight. You don't wanna let it angle off to the side, keep it pretty straight. And you're just gonna kind of, the same arm as the leg is gonna go forward as the leg goes back. All right, so you do. 10 of those, three sets, change. Oh, I went backwards. Right, so these are all things that you can do every day. It's pretty low resistance, it's pretty low impact. Um, if anything hurts, obviously don't do it. But I'm gonna try to do these things at least three times a week um, and hopefully build up and maybe do them every day to kind of like strengthen the areas of my body that I was pretty intensely embarrassed were um, difficult to do three sets of 10 on each side with. Those require pretty much no equipment. Um, you can do it without the resistance bands. 
Um, and if you don't have any weights, you can use like soup cans or something, or you can just do those same exercises without the weights um, as a way to strengthen your kind of uh, hips, knees, ankles, things like this. If you do have a roller, um, and again, I was talking about my IT band, I highly, highly recommend using a roller, especially if you're one of these people who is like, my hips are super tight and I can't really kick. <laughs> I don't stretch, I hate stretching. It's one of these things where like, um, it's not really that I'm not good at it, but it's that something that looks super easy is so hard makes me really mad. <laughs> so I don't like doing it. I hate stretching. And uh, I can kind of get away with it because I can do kind of like dynamic movements uh, in a way that like a static stretch I can't do. Um, but it's probably better for me in the long run to start a stretching routine. Um, I have a roller that is way, way too hard. It's really like knobby. <laughs> I don't, I don't know who it's for, like if it's for masochists or like really big, super larger, thick skinned uh, rhinoceros people than me. But so I couldn't really handle it on my IT band. So what I did is I just uh, bought a towel and taped the towel around it. So this is my MacGyvered roller that's not foam. <laughs> it's got this like gnarly, like knobby thing in here. And I just put a towel around it and used some like tape. So now I have a towel to kind of buffer that a little bit. And I just roll my IT band. Um, I should probably roll my hamstrings as well a lot um, because I have lower back pain. Um, and I think that those things are super connected. So especially if you're doing your road work, you should be doing your road work. There is no reason not to, and many, many reasons to. Um, you should also be rolling your IT band for this. So there are ways to roll that you can look up on YouTube that are far more involved and educational than what I'm going to do because I am not a teacher or instructor on this. I'm just showing you what I do. But so I basically just get in there, find the spot ooh, that hurts the worst, get off of it just a little bit, and then come back onto it a little bit to try to like, just, oh, just get a little bit of work on that. And I try to do this first thing in the morning and then after each training session, I'm trying to be good about this. Um, I have pretty much fixed my knee in a matter of three physio appointments and a total of like five days going aggressively at it with those exercises and this roller. So um, again, I am not a doctor. I am not diagnosing or treating anything on your body. <laughs> I'm advising you based on the things that I've learned in my physio appointments of taking care of my knees and what I felt in that process. It was also targeting on my body. Um, for Muay Thai, it's really, really important to have strong knees, ankles, and hips, as well as flexibility. Um, when I went and trained with Chan Chai, who uh, he's known as Poot Tu for like Poot Lor Lek. Um, he's in the Muay Thai library. You should definitely check out his session. It focuses on the teep because he is an absolute master of the teep. Um, when he was showing me basically how to create an entire style out of teeps, he was looking at me and he's like, your ankles are weak. <laughs> it's just like, uh, I believe you because I could feel how I couldn't quite balance on it. Almost everything in Muay Thai requires a great deal of balance. And these very small little like twitchy movements that my feet and knees and stuff are doing when I stand on like a balance ball or something like that, all of that is showing like where the little weaknesses in your joints are. And uh, when I was doing these exercises, I could feel how stuff as simple as this, like leg raises and like the kind of fire hydrant thing, um, that things as simple and easy and, you know, a, three sets of 10 every day could significantly improve my balance. That's really, really cool because uh, everything gets better with balance. Balance is probably the most important thing in Muay Thai, uh, probably tying with timing. But if you have good timing and no balance, your timing is only good for like a second <laughs> because you're always trying to recover from something rather than like, uh, you know, balancing and recovering and having the timing as well. So. Um, just sharing that with everybody uh, and, you know, take care of yourselves and 
Um, when something is hard that seems like it shouldn't be, it's probably something that you should do a little bit more of. That's Sylvie's advice. Sylvie out. <laughs>